welcome to the session so now let's get started with the project overview what we going to cover up in the upcoming part of the module so let's try to understand here as you can see that the project that we are covering up here is focused on the apache hive's capabilities what is the capability of apache hive to to run the analytical queries on the huge data set i hope that you all are aware about the difference between a transactional system and analytical system whenever i am saying transactional system it simply indicates that there we are dealing with the data from day to day life but when i am saying analytical system it means we are dealing with a historical data right to get the insights so whenever i am talking about apache hive tool it is basically useful to analyze to run the queries on top of that analytical system the storage system the where we used to store that particular data is something which we have is data warehouse for example ibm for example teradata for example vertica all these are the examples of a data warehouse tool right now what we will do in this project we will basically use sales and customers data we'll try to see the analysis and try to answer the queries which may be useful in terms of a business prospector you know for example uh, i want to determine that what is the sales contribution by individual customers i want to determine what is the upper and lower discount limits offered by the product i want to see which age group of the uh, you know customers contribute towards the more sales all these insights will be really much helpful for me in order to increase my sales in order to increase my revenue in between the project uh, i'll show you the practical demonstration where we will use the tools like apache scoop apache spark right aws services we will use so we will see each and everything in lot of depth and whatsoever prerequisites are required in this particular project i'll talk about a little bit of all those objectives all those prerequisites will give you an overview obviously i can't cover up all the tools in one of the project but that is the prerequisite meaning you already know all those stuffs but i'll talk about little bit of all of them that where and why we are using those tools uh, and there is a lot of learning i believe will happen in this particular project so i hope that you all are excited with me to you know uh, explore about this project to do this project with me uh, with the practical demonstration end to end and i'll see you all in my next next upcoming video where now we will start with the problem description and later on we will go step by step towards the uh, practical demonstration of this project bye bye everyone happy learning to all and i'll see you all in my next upcoming video